Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can take a screenshot in your Unity game and then show that screenshot on a UI image. There'll also be an eye up in the corner for a tutorial that's a follow-up to this one we'll be, where we'll be saving that screenshot as a PNG if that also interests you. But let's get into it. So, in our scene, we have got a few images. I have no idea how that Mario has red eyes. The image doesn't have that, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna go with it. And we have a canvas, just a regular canvas and a UI image with a disabled image component. And we're going to make it so we can hit a key on our keyboard, take a screenshot, enable this image, and it will basically have these guys with a background because it took a screenshot and it's displaying the screenshot. So let's write our code. And you're going to want to make a script. We're going to call it take screenshot, but you can call it whatever you want. So firstly, make sure you have all of these things imported. System.io is for if you want to save it as a PNG, but UI, Unity Engine and System.collections are all needed for the taking of the screenshot and displaying it on a UI image. We're going to do a serialized field image where to show screenshot. This is going to be us dragging and dropping a reference to our image in the inspector. So firstly we're going to do private enumerator take screenshot and show and you might be thinking Max why are we using the coroutine? Well because we're going to be doing yield return new wait for end of frame. So when we hit the screenshot button we're going to wait until the end of the current frame before taking a screenshot because waiting until the end of the frame ensures all rendering is complete avoiding incomplete or partially updated visuals in the captured screenshot. This is optional, but I'm going to keep this. Then, after we've waited for the end of the frame, we're going to do texture2d screenshot equals screen capture dot capture screenshot as texture. And you might be thinking, wow, Max, this is so simple. Why are you making a whole video on calling one line of code? I hate to disappoint you. As of 2022, and this has been a known bug for quite some time, taking screenshots doesn't work as you always think it might. So if you really want to, you don't. You can skip out a bunch of the code in this tutorial and see for yourself, but we're going to have to do a bit more before we can show the screenshot for it to be a perfect match. So we're going to do texture 2D new screenshot equals new texture 2D screenshot.width screenshot.height and texture format RGB 24 and a false. Then we're going to do new screenshot dot set pixels, screenshot dot get pixels, so we do new screenshot dot apply. What are we doing here? Well, basically, we're going to be creating a new texture 2D, and we're going to copy the pixel data from the original screenshot to it. And we're going to be bypassing any automatic color management that might ruin the screenshot. Because when I take screenshots using just texture 2D, I get this weird milky filter put on top of it and I don't know why. I also find the screenshot is also like off aligned. I'll have a picture on the screen to show you what I encountered but if we do this we can get past all that because we're just going to get the raw data of this screenshot and we're going to put it in a new texture and we're not going to do all the other fancy stuff that's going on behind the scenes which I'm not sure by the way. This is just the solution. After that, we're going to do destroy screenshot. So we don't need this anymore because we've got all the data we want in this new screenshot. And this frees up a little bit of memory. After that, we're going to create a sprite. So we're going to do sprite screenshot sprite equals sprite dot create new screenshot, which is our texture here. New rect zero script zero screenshot dot width screenshot dot height new vector two 0 0.5 0.5. Basically, this side of code is just going to convert our texture 2D into a sprite because a UI image can display a sprite and not a texture 2D. And then we're going to do where to show screenshot.enabled equals true. So we're going to activate our image and then we're going to set the sprite of that to be our screenshot sprite. And that's almost everything you need to do. At uh, underneath the serialized field, but above your enumerator, I'm going to do private void update if input.getkey down keycode.s, start coroutine, take screenshot and show. You can have a different way of triggering your screenshot. I'm going to do it if we hit the S key and then we can start our coroutine and take a screenshot. So once you've saved your work and gone back into Unity, drag and drop your take screenshot script onto your image and then drag and drop the image component from your show screenshot image into the field here and then save your work and hit play. 
we've got this awesome game, let's hit the S key. And look, this image now has the screenshot we took. Thanks for being a great audience, be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.